Do you have any particular physical illness in your body right now? Do you struggle with any type of chronic pain? Do you have things in your family bloodline that have been passed down to you? Some type of recurring sickness or disease? Do you have mild diseases, mild sicknesses that just won't go away? Today's prayer is perfect for you because we are going to be praying for your healing in your body. Welcome to my prayer closet. I am delighted. I'm excited. I'm grateful that you are here. Now, our theme week is simple. It is healing week here on the prayer closet. And we are in week number 36 for those of you who have your goals in prayer planner. Psalm 10720 is our memory verse for the week. And it says, he sent his word and healed them and deliver them from their destructions. Hallelujah. That makes me feel so good to know that my healing isn't based on my bloodline from my family. My healing isn't based on anything other than God and his word. Now, certainly there are things I can do, such as eat healthy, such as exercise, such as take care of my temple, getting proper rest and water. At the end of the day, my healing rests on my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I want you to come into agreement with me. Hit that thumbs up button. Type amen. Stick around to the end of this video to see if the Lord has given us anything special. And I want you to believe. Believe as I pray. Lay hands on the part of your body. Whether it's your head, whether it's your breast, whether it's your stomach, whatever it is that's bothering you, whatever it is the doctor says needs healing, lay hands on it. If you have a family member that's going through something, lay hands on them or their picture and believe God for physical healing. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that you sent your word to heal us and deliver us from destruction. We praise your holy name right now, God, because you are our healer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your word says in Jeremiah, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved for you are my praise. And so we're going to praise you in advance for our healing from the crown of our head to the bottom of our feet. We thank you for healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you died for our healing, Lord. The Bible says that you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace is upon your shoulders. Hallelujah. And by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Father, I pray a bold prayer against all sickness, all disease, all recurring diseases, against heart disease, high blood pressure, gout, Alzheimer's, dementia. I pray against them in the name of Jesus. I pray against any type of activity that we do that contribute to sickness and disease in our body. I pray against the coronavirus, the monkeypox. I pray against cancer, breast cancer, uh, uterine cancer, all types of cancer in our bodies, in our family members' bodies, in the name of Jesus. I pray against migraines right now. I pray against joint pain and problems in the knees. Hallelujah. Father, thank you that your healing power is working right now. That as I pray, God, you are doing something great, Lord Jesus. Father, the Bible says in Psalm 41, the Lord sustains him on the sick bed, and in his illness, you restore him to full health. And so I'm praying for full health for every single lady right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we're calling on Jehovah Rapha, our God, our healer. And we're saying Jehovah Rapha, touch our bodies and touch the bodies of our family members that are struggling in their bodies and need supernatural healing right now. Touch our doctors, give them spiritual wisdom, give them insight, give them intelligence to help these ladies who need the help in their bodies. I pray against the tendonitis. I pray against any type of chronic back pain. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, that back pain is healed today in the name of Jesus. I pray against gastrological issues right now in the name of Jesus. I pray against every wrong cell, pray for blood and cells and tissues and marrows and bones. I speak to them right now for every single person listening. And I pray that you provide your healing power in them right now. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, for being our healer. We trust you, Lord. The Bible says in Jeremiah, behold, I bring it to health and healing and I'll heal them and reveal them the abundance of prosperity and security. So we're, we're leaning on you for healing. Now we come against future disease that tries to come upon our bodies as we lay hands on our bodies. We come against it in the name of Jesus. And we pray sickness away from us, away from our families, away from our bodies. No communicable diseases will come near us and harm us as we stand on the authority of Jesus Christ. And by his stripes, we are healed and whole. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, hallelujah. If you believe you are healed, what the Lord laid on my heart is to let you know if there's nothing going on in your body today, it doesn't mean that there's not something coming. So what you've got to do is you've got to lay hands on your body before anything comes at you. You got to pray. I've, I've told this before that uh, my grandmother um, had breast cancer in her 70s. So um, I've always I have to fill out all the questionnaires and I have what's called kind of a uh, cyst. Y'all, I don't want to be too graphic. And I've told y'all that. Uh, so I have to do the 3D. Uh, I have mammogram. I've got to do all the extra. I've got to do ultrasound every six months instead of every year. And honey, let me tell you, I lay hands on that part of my body both of them come on somebody and I declare that no breast cancer is going to form in my body not one drop of it I'm even praying against the density here and so y'all follow me so I you pray before anything comes up on your body and declare that your body is whole now you've got to do the natural You've got to eat right. You can't eat a bunch of white bread and, and cookies and donuts every day. You can't drink soda every day. Come on, I'm talking to somebody who drinks Coca-Cola all the time. You can't do that kind of stuff and expect to walk out your healing, okay? So you've got to sacrifice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You've got to sacrifice for your healing. If you are obese and you are overweight, sister, know that I love you and know that I want to help you and I want to challenge you. I feel the Holy Ghost. So sister, if you're overweight and you are struggling in your weight and the doctor keeps telling you that you need to lose weight, I can pray for you, but I can help you too by telling you the truth that you're going to have to eat right. You're going to have to sacrifice and you do it a little bit every week. You do it strategically a little bit every week. And that way you're partnering with the Holy Ghost in your healing. Oh my God. Ooh, I thank you, Jesus. Well, I love y'all dearly. Don't forget, I need you to start praying now about the uh, the, the Warrior Women's Group. Um, we will be uh, launching this coaching and mentoring group. The Lord has released me to go ahead and do it this week. And so I'm going to launch it at the towards the end of the week. Um, and I know that that group is for somebody. We have a cap on the number of women that can join uh, only because uh, right now I'm doing everything myself. But as we continue to grow, we can allow more women. I need you to pray right now whether or not um, you need uh, coaching, mentoring, encouragement for some of y'all. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Listen to this and I'm going to go for some of you. You just need somebody in your life that's going to tell you the truth. And that's going to encourage the heck out of you. That's going to tell you, sister, if you want this, you got to do this. But I love you and I want to encourage you. You can do it. Some women, you don't have anybody in your life to cheerlead you and tell you you can do it. You can own a home at this age. 
You can start your business. You can write your book. For some of y'all, you just need somebody to encourage you because you don't have anybody in your life to do that because you're encouraging everybody. That means this group is for you. All righty. I love y'all. This is longer than I wanted to talk, but we believe in flowing with the Holy Spirit. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll be back tomorrow to keep praying for healing. Bye bye.